Hi there, my name is Timmy Joe, and I screw computers on the internet. Um, different kind of video here. Uh, I make videos about computers on the internet, and so does this guy here. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Random Gaming in HD, if you've never seen the channel, well, I'm sure you have. He's 10 million times bigger than me. He's made a pretty successful racket out of basically just exploring the depths of old hardware and how cheap you can get this and that and the other thing. And much as uh, I do, I was looking through my YouTube subscriptions, just like you regular folk out there, and I came across this video where he proclaims uh, $75 PUBG Player Unknown Battlegrounds uh, gaming PC. Uh, what does it take the minimum to play Player Unknown Battlegrounds? And I can tell he doesn't play the game. He doesn't know what he's freaking talking about. But I will blindly put his methodology to the test. That's right. This is a core, well, it's a Pentium dual core system, very, very close to the performance of the computer, this here that he was making, huh? Core 2 Duo E6850, mine is a 6500 Pentium dual core, uh, a little bit less uh, cash on mine, but I have a little bit better graphics card and I overclocked this little CPU here. This is the computer from the other day, it's uh, usually clocked at 3 gigahertz, so is this one. Well I overclocked mine to 3.4 to kind of even the playing field, as well as he puts a GT1030 2 gigabyte edition in his, well, I don't have one of those, but I do have a GTX 750 Ti with double the memory. So essentially, my system should just be a little, little bit better than his. And uh, what I want to do is I've got Player Unknown Battleground loaded here. I've got it high recording up here, my screen, and I've got some really big FPS numbers showing. And I'm going to blindly load into a game and tell you my experience playing this. Because my experience playing this is that you need a pretty freaking good computer to get a playable, unfrustrating uh, game, you know, gameplay and uh, experience in this. Because it's actually pretty demanding. And I'm thinking dual core. Nah, -uh. okay. So let, let's just just load into it here. I got my little dude all loaded up here. I'm gonna just click play, and I'm loaded at 1080p lowest settings, just like he was in the video. Because we're gonna give him, you know, the benefit of the doubt. And I'm even running an SSD, so I've got a little bit of speed boost there. But I'm thinking my system's gonna be better than his, and it's going to just suck to play this game in this configuration. And I'm gonna prove him damn wrong. Uh, it appears as though my computer has crashed. It hasn't. <laughs> okay, this already does not look good. Okay, so first off, in this game, you need very far line of sight, so if you don't have um, you know, a good computer with good graphics settings going. Like, this is nearly unplayable. <laughs> I'm getting, uh, 6, 9, 12 FPS here. Uh, but yeah, if you, you need to be able to see people far away. You need to be able to do quick reactions. You need to be able to, like, you know, ha have a decent running experience. Otherwise, you're just gonna, like, hear something happening and boom you'll be dead or you'll hear something farther away in the background it'll be a sniper rifle boom you're dead pretty pretty decent at this game i've got probably like 100 hours into it at this point um i've made it to the final three a whole, a whole bunch of times but never freaking won because that damn map closes in upon you i'm just not quick enough so there we go we're opening our parachute we're doing a squeezy, McJeezy. We got 14 FPS. As you can see, I'm getting all kinds of frame stutter, and I'm landing near people, which is just a terrible idea. I did not want to do that. All right, so here we go. 14, 15, 21 FPS. That's not a door. I thought that was a house. That's it. That is a house. What the hell is? This is not right. <laughs> what the frick is going on? <laughs> Why don't there no doors on these houses? This is not right at all. <laughs> it's like it's a joke. Okay. Oh, there. Go in the door. 
what is going on? Something's really wrong. There must be a direct X issue or something. Oh, see, it looks like I'm in the house. Something's so wrong with this. This does not look right at all. <laughs> How come I can't go in any buildings and I'm just walking through things? Super unplayable experience here, by the way. So I have the four gig. Uh, ver oh, see, this looks like a normal door. Okay, what the hell happened with over there? Was it just like spray paint zone? Oh my goodness. So I, the point I want to make here is that yes, you can get away with using some old hardware. Yes, you can, you know, uh, you can ghetto it up, and I think Random Gaming in HD, like, you know, he, he's trying, like, there's no guns? Come on now. He's trying to, like, show you you can, you know, recycle some stuff and have a decent experience once in a while. But in the end, um, it, it, you want a certain level of computer to play games. And, re oh, finally some guns. And for him just kind of giving you this, like, false sense of hope that you can... Or I didn't even pick up the gun. Uh, this false sense of hope that you can just get away with playing Player Unknown Battlegrounds on a GT 1030 on a Core 2 Duo. That's, that's not right. I feel like that's some sort of, like, uh, integrity is lost when he, when he says that. Because in order to play this game, you need a fairly decent computer, I would say at least a Core i5, running, uh, I would say at minimum a GTX 1050, maybe a 960, and that's where you're going to get, you know, semi-playable frame rates in this game with medium settings, um, you know, maybe you can get away with using like a, I, I was definitely playing this on the uh, 7970 uh, uh, and getting away with it, it wasn't too, too bad. Oh wow, can't even drive the freaking thing at full speed because it's so laggy. <laughs> oh, somebody in a car. I mean, look how bad that's... You can't play with this game like that. Let's go try and catch up to this noob. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. You're fucking kidding me, right? <laughs> I would have had him if I didn't shoot the freaking bar. So in conclusion, look at this monstrosities hitting, sitting here getting 15 to 30 frames a second in PUBG. This, I think, proves my point. He's a little dishonest when it comes to putting a silver lining on old hardware. And I thought it was worth pointing out. I mean, I really do like this guy's channel. I really think that it's nice to, you know, utilize old hardware and, uh, you know, th that doesn't mean that you have to kind of fib about the performance of a game you don't really play, obviously, and say it's playable with your uh, dual core setup with four gigs of memory and uh, a GT 1030. Ooh. I would say the minimum to play this game would be like get yourself an old Dell Precision, uh, you know, off lease office computer with a Core i5 in it, even if it's like a first generation, maybe even a Core 3, and put a, 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 t a 1050 in it, and you could probably play Player Unknown Battleground for like, you know, 250 bucks American, maybe 200 bucks, and you'd be pretty happy with that. You play a lot of modern games on that system, but old stuff like this. Uh, St stick to games from about four, five, you know, three years ago, or you're going to be playing at 720p, and online stuff is pretty much off the limits. But, you know, esports games and stuff like that, yeah, you can play Counter Strike on that, but that's a little bit older of a game, right? I'm out watching me join Instagram and Twitter. Hey, 
dude, I like your videos. I don't mean to shit all over this, but uh, I think you were a little bit of a fibber in this video, and I call you out, man. If you want to prove me wrong, uh, let's play PUBG together. I invite you to join me. I'm uh, Timmy Joe on Steam. Find me. We'll play a match. I'll beat your butt with uh, a little bit better of a computer than this. How about that? I'll see you guys later in another video, and uh, I will see you. Bye-bye.